Welcome back. Summer is starting to wind down, and that means several new flowers are really starting to bloom. Jim Geyer is here for you with a closer look at just a few of them in tonight's Geyer's Garden. Well, it's toward the end of the season right now, but there's still a whole lot to do, especially in flowers. And with me now is Lisa once again, who's going to show us a whole lot of stuff on flowers right now. What do we have behind us? We have a bench filled with hydrangeas behind us. Um, and hydrangeas are one of the most popular, beautiful flowering shrubs of the summer. They really put on quite a show. They bloom a little bit later and they'll take you all the way into fall. So it's a great plant. A um, couple things to note. There are, for the most part, uh, there's two main types of hydrangeas. One is paniculata variety, the other is macrophylla. The paniculata are these white ones that we see behind us. Mm -hmm. They usually have a little bit of a cone-shaped flower and start out white. They can fade to a pretty pink mm -hmm. or maybe a darker green, but those hydrangeas will all bloom on fresh this year's growth. So you can cut almost all of these back in the um, fall if you want to maybe six or eight inches, mm -hmm. or you can let them go. And they're gonna bloom just fine next year, which is nice. They also don't mind some full sun. Mm -hmm. Macrophylla, on the other hand, um, some of the newer varieties will bloom on new growth mm -hmm. and old growth, but most reliably off of old growth. So when people have trouble with their hydrangeas blooming, mm -hmm. um, maybe only get one or two blossoms, mm -hmm. it's often macrophylla variety, which is usually the pink or purple, the kind that you can mm -hmm. make change color. Um, it might be because of a late frost or they cut them back and shouldn't have. Okay, so there's a whole lot of stuff you have to remember. I like these too, the uh, leaves here, two different kinds. That'll yes. tell you what you've got too, right? Yes. yes, and it'll tell you on the tags, and then obviously it's a lot to remember. It can be complex, um, so just ask us and we can help you with that. Okay, beautiful flowers here, and they're still going on and will for quite some time. In the garden, I'm Jim Geyer, 6 News.